was tonight on Channel's television. Uh, time to take a look at update coming from our world of chess. Babatunde Ogushiku is with us. Babatunde, good to, it's good to have you on the show. Always good to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's mm. begin with this guy. When I saw um, Tani Tolua uh, on Adewo. social media, yeah. I was like, eight years old? Eight years old. And he old. understands the game? And mm -hmm. went to the United States to beat people. Exactly. Tell me what I don't know. Well, it's been it's been a life changing experience for the young boy, and the main reason is because of chess. Obviously, uh, the boy learned chess for one year, and then <sighs> exactly one year, and after ah, that one year, cool he just uh, did an awesome job at at the U.S. Uh, while the parents were still in, well. <laughs> Where they were, uh, it picked, was look at him. Just, yeah. See how critical he is. Exactly. He's thinking. Exactly. So it's it was a very good one for him. He actually met. He played with the current U.S. champion and the world number two. Uh, his his life is changing forever. Even Bill Clinton. Wow. Spoke about him. Gary Kasparov spoke about him, as in a lot of people are writing about this boy, talking about this boy, and showing what Nigerians can actually do all over the world. I need to get him on this show. Well, well he's currently in, the, in yeah, New York. We'll, we'll put him on Skype. Exactly. We'll, do something. we'll, we'll have, work something out. Yeah, we'll have to talk to him. Awesome. Exactly. Take a bow, mm. uh, Tani Tolua Adewumi. Uh, mm. This is what we're talking about. This sort mm. of stories when we say, let's catch them young. Exactly. Let's, let's give to the grassroots. Mm. That's Bill Clinton mm -hmm. talking about 80 year old Nigeria. Look at him right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I love this story. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well done. Uh, what's going on uh, with more school chess? Well, school chess, looking at what Tani Tolua has brought to the table, school mm. chess in Abuja is uh, really, really growing. And they had their very, very awesome inter-school chess championship uh, just earlier in the year, some time ago. And it was very nice. It was very good. I was there, and I saw some very brilliant talents over there also. Hopefully, they can bring them for, international, for national tournaments and some international tournaments that will be held probably in Lagos and maybe some will still be held in Abuja. But these young kids have to be, have to be unnerved, have to be brought mm -hmm. out. Yeah. And then when they participate in more, inter, more national yeah. tournaments and international exposure. tournaments, they get the exposure and they do well for themselves. At the event, we had Carryfield. Carryfield School was participating at this tournament for the first time, wow. and they won the tournament. Awesome. Same thing with Junior Secondary School, do say. They were participating at the secondary section for the first time, mm. and they won the tournament. And there, there were some young girls, young boys that were doing wondrous things. I know. There. I start wondering if they teach chess in schools now. Definitely. Wow. Chess in schools has greatly improved. Uh, you look at Abuja, you see about 30 schools registering for this event wow. you look at lagos you see about a you, you see 700 kids participating in Ooh. a tournament you look at port you look you look at akt you look at a lot of places and mm. you wonder what is really going on chess boom is here mm. and if you don't get involved oh, no. you get left behind You're making me ask myself questions i should start <laughs> playing chess again what's going Definitely. on with the sipan chess league well the sipan chess league kicked off uh last month and it was it was a great experience there there were a lot of young guys coming into the table coming into the fore and showing that they can also suck it out with the top guns and it was very interesting to see because some of these guys actually participated in the sipan chess league and Hopefully, this particular edition of the Sipan Chess League is going to be rated because the feeder rating is something that is very important for these young lads. Mm -hmm. They play against the top guys, and some of them get draws, some of them get wins, and it should, most should of them lose. It should count for something. Yeah. And this is one of the things that the Chess Players Association of Nigeria has been pushing Beautiful. for over the years. Mm. And hopefully, this time around, it's something that would be done. But... Rating resides with the Nigerian Chess Federation. It's good. It, and to make the competition competitive. Exactly. Uh, what's, what, what's the E4 Genius Open Chess about? Well, the E4 Genius Open Chess uh, tournament is starting to look like an international tournament because mm. according to the organizer, a German is coming, 
a yeah. Ghanaian is coming. Yes, and sir. it's going to be very interesting to see all these guys coming to participate in a national tournament. It's an open event, and it's something that we need to actually have more of. Mm. And if we can have more of that, then we'll be able to do more. That's right. That's right. More competitions, more exposure, exactly. more chess players, mm -hmm. more awareness for you and I to talk about chess exactly. so that more people will come into it. What's going on with chess in Africa? Well, chess in Africa is starting to get more notice on the international scene considering the fact that in Ivory Coast, we're going to be having Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen. I know. Yes. I said, can't he just stop by? It's good to Well, yeah. hopefully he can stop by. We can have a reason to bring him down to Nigeria. But Magnus Carlsen and a few other major guys, wow. Ikaru Nakamura, Maxim Vachel Agrav, and a host of others will be coming to Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, to participate in the Grand Chess Tour. It will be the grand opening hmm. of this event this year. Wow. The event has been holding for several years now. They had a branch in Norway for some time. They left Norway. Now they are coming to Africa, and it's a major, major stuff for West Africa, considering the fact that we are going. the Ivory Coast Chess Federation are also looking at putting together mm. an ECOWAS event, yeah. basically for... ECOWAS nations. Mm. And it's going to be very interesting to I know. see it sounds how it good. goes. It sounds good. Before I let you go in, in 20 seconds, how excited are you that chess is coming to the All-Africa Games? Oh, very <laughs> excited. I know. As in, you cannot understand how I excited know. I am, considering yeah. the fact that this had to be hard fought for. Mm. The president of FIDE had to come in. Yeah. The Moroccan Chess Federation had to pull their yeah. weight. Everybody had to do what they needed to do to ensure that chess... I was know. engaged. It's good, it's good. Now, scrabble that and the other board because the woman must <laughs> get in there. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Thank you very for much. For stopping by. Always, uh, always good. good having you around to talk chess. Yeah. Uh, of course, to you. What can I do without you guys? Thank you so much for your time. Uh, but let's not stop talking. Remember, you can keep talking to us on Twitter. We're channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I feel sports. That's the show for the team, the ever reliable sports team. I'm Austin Okonakwan. In everything you do, remember. Keep talking sports five for now.